hello, welcome back. Uh, a couple of little things. First up, just checking in on Suki. 93% withdrawal. So, almost over Psycho Addiction. Uh, we're very proud of you, Suki. <laughs> Keep it up. Uh, also, wanted to check in on Linda. There's a bit of heat stroke at the moment. Uh, but let's see. Mining. 99 yield, 380 speed. I'm pretty sure that was like 105 last time, right? So, <laughs> that seems pretty good. Alright, cool. Uh, I've also been around trying to reclaim some wood and stuff. I was thinking of replacing some of the important wooden doors with stone doors that are auto doors, because we have a lot of our... I'm going to replace this with an auto door. <laughs> this section is just a bit awkward, isn't it, to get down here? Um, <laughs> we're going to have to come all the way down to this little room to get the plus steel. I guess it's no worse than them coming out to these things, though, is it really? Mm. Oh yeah, also a commenter said I... <laughs> How do I always install these things the wrong way around? It makes no sense. Like, am I dumb? <laughs> Point blue in. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Chunks of spacecraft. Cool, we'll grab that. Uh, anyway, what else is there to do now? Oh yeah, we got the quest to do, right? That was the next thing that was going to be on the agenda, so... Um, I think when I take this, it's going to dump... I think it'll take a dump a mech cluster on us immediately? I'm not sure. Uh, let's also... Oh yeah, I think I did these as well, right? <laughs> you finally have to 78, 78 episodes, alright. I did this thing. Let's do the animals as well. Everyone in the caution zone. Oh! That's another another thing I should mention as well. Um, we have too many dogs. Okay. So... Yeah. <laughs> we, we, it's, just, it's too many dogs, okay? So the excess dogs will be, you know, <laughs> dealt with. <All> right. <laughs> Just uh, ignore that if, 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 you know. Anyway, let's take a quest. I think we'll put the honor on... It's going to be Kiwi, right? Uh, which means we can move Kiwi and I think it's Kuzbai into the noble room. At some point. This one's going to be done as well. I can start working on this one. Uh, hey guys, how's it going? Inika, Kazni, Metnos, Eric Hughes. Mechanoids arrived. It's very close to us. Let me just check, no one's outside, right? It, it's, I hope they don't just immediately aggro the, the thing, that would be kind of awkward. Uh, let's see. Pretty big. Uh, so we have a climate adjuster. Oh, oh initiates in 13 days, okay. That wouldn't be too bad, would it, on the tile? This is funny. It's like they've built a little <laughs> kill corridor. Um, it just needs the rest of the wall, you know. I don't see a proximity thing. Um, these are dormant. I guess this is just going to sleep till we interact with it, which is nice. I think we can just walk up and mortar the climate adjuster and it'll drag them in, I'm not sure. We just go out at night though, it's not too bad, right? And just smoke up here and move the uh <laughs> put the guys in, in the front. Oh, we've got this thing as well. <laughs> this might actually work. Let's check. Uh who's got a nice average range weapon? Is that a shotgun? Oh, that's a sniper rifle even. LMG. What's the range on a LMG, I wonder? I don't think this will aggro. I could be wrong, but, you know. I guess it's just content if I'm wrong. Also, do you guys do work? Oh, yeah, they do. Okay, I'll have to sort that out. No, it's not really close enough, is it? You can just sit here and outrange us. Alright, these walls are still not very useful. I could just build more here, though. Alright, thank you, Heracuse. Okay. Uh, let me put all you guys in the caution zone as well. And then I'll give them jobs. I'll see you in a second. Alright. They do basic jobs. I think they're all currently hauling. Why are you all down there? Why were, why were they all down there? Uh, they're doing basic jobs. 
A few of them are doing a few extra little bits and pieces like uh, farming or cooking or something. Uh, mostly they'll just run around cleaning and hauling though. And I think we're safe to walk up to this, so... I mean, we could just... Let's think. We could... Extend this wall a bit. <laughs> I mean, why not? I mean, let's just... Finish this off. Uh, and then... Let's put some... Barricades here? That should be fine, right? Not sure how much textiles I have. Not a lot of stuff. I'll probably lots of leather. Okay, lots of human leather. So I'll make some human leather sandbags. I'm sure this will be fine and won't result in any deaths. Go and get that built, guys. <laughs> I guess this has to be in the <laughs> caution zone now. Yeah, some might call it somewhat incautious. Well, we'll see how we do. I mean, I don't think they're going to wake up, right? It's pretty funny anyway. Alright, get to work, guys. And we'll try and do this one night. I don't think there's much point keeping these guys around. They do jobs, but they also eat food, so not super useful. And there's nothing else we can do, is there, while they're here? We could, like, trigger some other quest, but there's nothing uh, too interesting. I could give Lobo one rank of a title. I guess. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how if, um, I think, what was this quest? Like, 12 on it? I'm not sure how much, how many ranks that's going to give um, Kiwi, but active for this. Yeah, 12 on it. We'll see how many ranks Kiwi gets. Anyway, I'll speed up time now and we can see what happens today. Okay. That did not work. Something caused them to wake up. I'm not sure what. Looks like they just started shooting. Well, that's a shame. Uh, that does mean... <laughs> uh oh Okay, we might have some problems now then. Okay, this didn't work. This was a mistake. Biddings, you need to... Flee. To here, probably. <laughs> if you can, I don't know. Don't have high hopes. Uh, but you know. He's also missing a leg. Okay, Kex, so do you think you can... Get here and skip him, or... Does anyone else have a skip? I can't remember. Uh, let's see. Skip. No, it's just Hexa. Uh, okay. Hexa. Let's... You've got plenty of side focus. Start skipping yourself. Try and get to <laughs> Garrison, our uh, biddings rather. Uh, the rest of you. Make sure you don't engage those guys. Oh yeah, that's not good. <laughs> uh, that's not good. Death Labrador Puppy 16. Wait, where did that happen? Okay, what? How? <laughs> huh? <laughs> How did that guy go in? How did he get in the colony? And then how is he there specifically? Oh, did a drop pod drop him here inside the base? Let me just check where's roofs. Okay, that's what happened. Alright, well that's... That's pretty unfortunate. Um, okay, how do we deal with that thing then? Uh, Nectaros, what do you have? Why could it charge rifle? Okay, let's get you out here. Uh, you as well. Zix is quite nearby. Let's get Zix to get some EMP grenades as well. And 
we'll hold this open. Uh, yeah. Biddings, how long until you bleed Aram? 16 hours, that's not too bad if we can just get Hexa up here with um, Skip. Do you guys have any implants that are gonna... no. Alright, Hexa. Uh, right. Let's try and get as close as we can, then we'll invis and <laughs> try and skip. Something shooting at me? Yes, alright. You're in... Well, I'm um, actually in just smoke for now. Have some range on skip. Not too bad. Okay. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> Um, right, they took care of the Scyther as well. You'll be okay, Biddings. We got this. We just made a little mistake with thinking we could build stuff here. And you know what? Maybe it's better now, because we can drop mortars right on this little cluster. I'm sure that's fine. We can go ahead and coagulate you as well. Let's return you to your bed. And there we go. All's well that ends well. Oh. Well, I mean... You know, I mean, Ag Agatha lived a good life, and... You know, we thank her for... Being the test case for if we could build walls here or not. Uh, yeah. Oh, I just remembered. Something in the, the deep recesses of my... Rimworld mind. It's something to do with touching the the structures, right? That's what you can't do. Maybe these as well. I think that's what it is. I think that causes things to wake up. I could be wrong, but maybe like putting this stuff that's what triggered it. I don't know. Uh also since I mean maybe we can rescue Agatha as well, actually. This smokes uh hmm. Let's try the Fire might be a problem because Hexa might go crazy while he's trying to get close. But, um, yeah. Oh, we do have. I mean, Hexa also has a water skip, actually. Hexa's pretty good at this sort of stuff. I mean, she is currently on fire, that probably isn't helping. Okay, let's smoke first. Uh oh. Okay, now we water skip quickly. And then water skip there. And then before we run out of Psy juice. Uh, skip her there as well. Just carry, I think. Wait, can you leap while carrying someone? <laughs> Wait, what is this? No! <laughs> the mechanoid combat cluster is landing nearby. Oh, okay, it looked like it was right here, but it's actually down here. Alright, that's not as crazy then. Uh. Okay, let's just immediately forbid this door though. Don't ever walk here, okay? <laughs> Uh, yeah, can you jump while carrying someone? That would be really cool. You can! Oh, that's... Uh oh. If, wh why did you disappear right then? <laughs> that's so rude. Okay, you can leap while carrying someone, but you cannot use a side power. Alright, I think we did it. We rescued them both. He's missing a cool bio-coded weapon now, but... Let's see, what is this now? 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's another climate adjuster. Um. So, oh, there's a nitro beacon, eye shield. Okay. Hmm. Proximity activator. Okay. A lot of mechs on the map. I would like to deal with these so that I don't have these guys sitting in our base, eating all of our food. Mm, let's see them for now. Uh, we have two colonists who need to recover, including Hexaflex now, actually. I'm a little bit burned. Okay, I think this we just hit with mortars at some point. We can leave it, though. It's fine. It's just a temperature thing. What about this one? We can't really mortar this one as easily because of the high shield. Oh no, you can just hit it with that EMP first, can't you? This is a normal cluster, right? I think if we take out this, this one will attack. I'm not as sure about this one because it's a weird quest one. Let's make a start on this one tomorrow though. Uh, for now, let's let the guys settle in and get their moods all nice and high. Especially these guests. God, that's, uh... <laughs> Blue pointing in. Alright, cool. <laughs> get that new cooler put in, please. Okay, 6pm. Moods are good. Injuries are mostly taken care of. A little bit of heat stroke because people aren't getting dressed again, I think. Uh, as soon as people get the heat stroke icon on them, I'm going to start forcing them to put clothes on. <laughs> um, for now, though, I want to get everyone on the mortars and get them going. No, let's not use the children. I feel like they <laughs> I don't want to distract them too much from their studies. All right, Quesh, Essos, uh, Vuron, and Strapping. Go ahead and get on the... All five for now. I've got this one set up to do the EMPs, so... <laughs> Kali's uh, range finding for us. Wait, why are you loading a high explosive shell? Maybe on EMP. Maybe you're taking that out? Oh, that is the one you took out and you left it on the ground. Okay. <laughs> I thought that was like an icon of like the shell being loaded or something. Okay, good. Let's go on EMP. Loaded. Alright, nice. Um, looking good, Linda. Let's go ahead and set force target here. I mean, I might as well just target this to make sure it hits, right? That's fine. Now, let's assume that we don't need to do that again. And set focus target on this. And no longer have to hold and fire. Alright. A lot of reinforcements. Oh, you guys are attacking immediately. Oh, okay. Uh, let's, in, in that case, let's get uh, some more... It would be nice would be if there was a mortar icon appeared so that you could see who's on the mortars. I guess that's only an issue you have when you have a giant colony there. Uh, let's get Sty. I don't think you're on a mortar, right? you know you're asleep. It's a good indicator. Sty and Fur can get the other EMP grenades. And do we need any any more shooters? Maybe not. You got all these guests and all of our vampires. We're probably fine, right? Make sure that we've got three EMPs. I'm surprised they're just attacking immediately, though. In which case, I shouldn't destroy this, should I? Because minus 10 temperature is probably pretty good for us. So, okay, job well done, everyone.
Okay, good start. Okay, I'm not sure if you should be here <laughs> fixing walls at the moment. Uh, maybe though. Might be nice to keep the wall in one piece. Alright, you know what? <laughs> nah, probably not. <laughs> okay, whatever, <laughs> Fearon, you just... You do you. You know what? Let's uh, remove this from the caution zone, in fact. Okay, there we go. Actually, if you wouldn't mind doing that and not hitting Brewer. Nice. Any centipedes? Oh, yeah. Garrison spoke about eating cauliflowers with Brewer. I don't know why that made me laugh, but... <laughs> He's probably eaten nothing but slime for the last 20 years. <laughs> hey man, remember cauliflower? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> okay, we're losing a lot of the corner wall here now, so... Oh yeah, we're losing a lot of that corner wall. Do I need to reposition? Possibly. Maybe not that soon. You okay, Kiwi? Listening to my legs? It's a lot of... Oh, that's the dead center feeds, okay. Uh, I mean, yeah, he's almost lost his right leg now as well, okay. You can go off duty then, Kiwi, that's fine. Someone else is down, it looks like. Uh, oh yeah, Ray. What happened to you? Shot on the right leg, of course. Oh, he might have got EMP'd as well, he's still got the... Learning assistant? Oh yeah, brain shock, okay. Need to do something about that as well. Okay, Kashi and Professor Che. Go and hit the front one. Hexer and Irid. Go and hit the back one. And the rest of you just move up, I guess. Move generally along here. <laughs> I don't want to block the melee guys from actually getting into melee. Let's wait a second. Wait, where did, where did you just come from? Oh, did you just get manufactured? Probably. Yeah, we should go out and deal with that in a second. Okay, exo. Let's have you draw a leap to the. That's <laughs> what the. F okay, we just can't get past these guys yet. All right, over here. Okay, 
Okay, you can do it with the <laughs> Scyther as well. Holy, that seemed like it was a lot of effort. Okay, go ahead and go here then in the caution zone to... Nah, maybe not there. Let's sort out the wall. Okay. Next thing we need to get smoked up and go and take care of everything, except the climate adjuster. That's probably fine. All oh, goods trade a scavenger. Uh, Alright, we'll investigate that as well. Okay, that was an extremely good trader. They took all of our old clothes and drugs and textiles as well. We got components, neutromine, chem fuel, cloth, a ton of plasteel. Side trainer for oh, that's the wrong side trainer. <laughs> I meant if I skip. Seven hundred woods and 123 gold. Where's the side trainer? Oh no, we have the skip side trainer. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Uh yeah. I think we can get more gold then. Almost all of it. Okay, cool. Still, good trade. Lots of raw materials for us. Uh, yeah, let's put this in the ocean zone briefly. And then hopefully remember to remove it all. Right, Eric can go in death rest now. I think this is the first time he's using his glucosoid pump, so... Very nice. I'm also, I've got stuck some smoke launches on Ashless and Quash as well, so tomorrow night uh, we'll finish this off and then I guess we'll start mortaring these guys too. Well, maybe the next night after that. How is food? That's what I'm most worried about. I so we're still doing okay on meals. These are not looking very full though, the hoppers. Hmm. Hopefully we're going to be okay. Hmm, in fact, since our guests don't care about darkness, we could just go and do this do it this now before they start manufacturing more robots, couldn't we? Let's see, let's just get these guys. I guess Zix can stay in the hot well let's get these guys. <laughs> and we'll just bring the guests outside and maybe that'll be okay. How injured are you, Zix? I mean you're fine. A couple of bruises. It's not a problem for our guys, let's be real. God damn it, food binge, really? Monastral was shared room with slave. Oh, okay. <laughs> We don't have enough beds in uh, this room for all of the guests, so a few of them are in here. <laughs> I didn't think that would... Okay. Uh, is it... I always forget. Is it Garrison who's got... Let's see. Can you word of serenity this dude? You can. All right. Uh, I'll open that door then for now. In the meantime... Okay. <laughs> you can also... Come back and help out now. Okay, I think we are all done here now then. Oh, I don't need to destroy that, do I? Whatever. Okay. So this is all taken care of now. We can destroy this thing when we need a mood bump, I suppose. Uh, great work, everyone. So, maybe tonight then, uh, we can deal with this thing. We'll give it a shot. And Kazni also on a food binge. Yeah, again, I'm most worried about food in this situation, so... Not a great mental break to be getting constantly. Hmm. Yeah, some of our slaves have started starving as well. 
Hmm, okay. I mean, this is almost ready to harvest, right? 80% grown? The main farms are not doing too well. Um, it is evening now, though. Start dropping mortars on this and see where that gets us. Why not? We'll make a start. Uh, Quash and Essos and Wolverine. And Garrison, how's your health? I mean, you're fine. Let's get you all on that then. And yeah, we just want to hit around the... I think that's ground target. Yeah. So do what you can. In theory, we could still move the guys up here. It's only this turret that would be able to see us on the approach. Let's just start dropping mortars on it first. We've got like, what, 50 mortars? Probably fewer than that because we're going to run out of barrel durability, but there's so much of damage we can do. So Hexer, how's your... I could just send Hexer out as well to do some... Invis... Berserk Pulse shenanigans? Why not? Let's see if these guys start attacking us or not. It doesn't look like it so far. Yeah, you're gonna have to replace those barrels, it looks like. Okay, let's just get you guys out then for a second. Let's see, if I hug the wall, maybe we avoid the line of sight of this turret as well. Probably not actually now that I... <laughs> ah, maybe. It's gonna be quick. Okay. Mortars. Alright, mortars are back. Wesh. Essos, uh, Wolverine, Harrison, target is the same, okay. Oh god, no, just walk over that. <laughs> that looks good. Okay. <laughs> good work, Kashi. <laughs> Uh, mechanisms have been assembled and will defend their cluster. Okay. I mean, so far, so good. Yeah, we'll do another Berserk Pulse. Okay. Slightly over the heat, but, you know, <laughs> I think Kashi should be used to that by now. Um, Hexa does have individual Berserk. All we can do just now. Okay, I think tomorrow night we'll be able to take out the rest of this stuff. And then hopefully we don't have to worry about food anymore. I think I'm gonna have to put everyone on real food though. Because yeah, nothing's gonna get loaded into the hoppers, I don't think. War merchant from dude. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, um How are your needs guys? You guys are probably all starving now, right? 2.1 food, zero food. Yeah, might be a good time to stop the mortars anyway. Uh yeah, you guys are you guys are pretty dumb, I'm not gonna lie.
I was surprised that we didn't get attacked when this got blown up. But I was surprised that we got, we did get attacked when this wasn't blown up, so I don't know. What do I know? <laughs> okay, yeah. I think we can clean this out tonight, though. It's just a couple of scent feeds and lots of turrets, but we've, we've still got the smoke ready to go. We're going to run out of food and the psychic soothe we had just ended, too. Not great. I would like to leave this up, but I could blow up, blow this up for another mood boost, I suppose. Ooh, an eclipse! Um, is that gonna last until tonight? I guess there's no way of knowing that, is there? I mean, let's make a move anyway. It's clearly a sign, right? Like, there's, there's no way this is not a sign. From, uh... Well, whatever we believe in, I don't know. We surely need to go now. I think you guys were positioned outside then. I don't quite want that. Let's see, so we need some smoke here just so that we can get past that little section without getting shot at. Should be fine. Alright, join. No, go this way. Giant ball formation, go. It seems familiar. Okay, that's not quite enough smoke. Yeah, why are you guys pathing so strangely? Good enough, it looks like. Kiwi, you're super slow. That's okay. Lobo? Uh, missing a leg. Alright, you're also pretty slow. Okay, you guys. Get up here. Nope, go this way. Hug the wall. Okay, I think we smoke here and then we just... We send in all of the guests first. To tank for us. And then we should be fine. Almost needs to rescue Kali. <laughs> Walking 10 miles to get a meal. Oh, they can see me, okay. Yeah, I guess just go here. Probably fine. Just keep smoking there, I think. Yeah, that looks good. And guests. You are up. Um. We all wish you the best of luck. Oh, fire. I didn't think of that. Centipede burner. How many burners are there? Oh, just one. Okay. Hexa. I do not want all of our guys to start running around because of fire. That would be pretty bad. Okay. Ashy's he's got his... well, he's lost all his heat, so... Go help the guys out. Oh, looks like it's mostly done. Well, let's just hit these two things. Oh, there's three. Okay, this is the burner, right? Yeah, let's berserk the burner then. Definitely. And that should be okay. Um. Yeah. Alright, get back, Kashi. Oops. Okay, I think it's probably time we move our guys up now. I think this is all... probably it. I mean, <laughs> if I guys take like one bullet, they're probably just gonna die. But if I could just get you guys helping out with a grenade, actually, how right? Then again, let's just see if these guys can finish it off.
There's a lot of fire there that I don't really want to walk our guys into. RIP cost the OPs. They're struggling more than I thought they were. Maybe some of them had shotguns and they weren't even in range and I just didn't <laughs> micromanage it very well. Uh, Kashi, you're losing heat at least. Oh. How much heat does this take? 45? Eh. I think Hexa can manage it. Just don't go crazy because of the fire, Kashi, and we'll be... We'll be good. Okay, the burner's down at least. If I can just take out the <laughs> this patches of fire, we'll be Gucci. Oh, whoops. I got a <laughs> removed this heat limiter. Tracer in labor! <laughs> Hmm, <laughs> you've changed, Razor. Um, well, I mean, that's an obvious name for Labrador Retriever 7, then. Uh, Tracer. Rero, Zix, sure. You guys could take care of that. Oh, Zix was here. Oh, well. Okay, I think now we can move our guys up with our long range weapons. Tuki's going to blow that into bits, I think. don't love that pathing. Path so yeah, we'll get Mox from command going. Tracer's child is going to be born during an eclipse, which I feel like should probably also mean something. Okay, gun guys, focus. Okay, it's finally died. All right, we're done then. Gotta clear out all this junk. I am exceedingly proud of all of you. Right. First things first. Uh, back in default. You guys just get unrestricted now as well. Uh, let's leave this alone. Animals can also go back to normal. Let's see. Looks like we've had some more puppy births. That's just what we need. Oh, actually, this has been reduced quite significantly. Very good. And you know what? Just go ahead and priority haul whatever all of this is. I don't even know. This stuff... Definitely this stuff. Uh, you can walk through that door again, this one. You can go through here, I think. Yep. Alright, wonderful. Teresa, how are you doing? So this is... Zix and Teresa's child. I mean, yeah, born during an eclipse. I mean, this is destined to be a vampire. Regardless of anything else. Uh, Kiwi Satan's Yeoman Ceremony, fantastic. Uh, receive title of Freeholder. Yep. I'll start getting you- Oh, not- <laughs> Alright, Nectaros, this bedroom was not for you. This is for the High Stellark or whatever it's called. Uh, yeah, do not make the furniture out of wood this time. I'll start getting Kiwi's- Kiwi and Kuzpai's bedroom. It is Kiwi and Kuzpai, right? I'm not crazy. Yeah. I'll start getting Kiwi and Kuzpai's bedroom set up. 
Yours can be steel, I think. Yeah, we have a lot of steel. And your furniture can be... We'll go back to nice marble furniture. I do think it would be fancy to have, you know, high quality wooden furniture in a desert, but... You know what? Actually too fancy. Uh, that's, we can't sustain that kind of excess. So we'll do it out of marble this time for kiwi. Probably do a uh, stone floor as well. The good news is that means that your bedroom should get set up pretty quickly. Oh. Nice human leather armchair. Uh, I should probably do human leather drapes as well. Actually, what do we have now? Rhinoceros leather? Or plain leather? You know, plain leather drapes. And looks good. And I think we're all done then, right? It would be really nice if these guys could just not survive and then <laughs> we get a bunch of meat. Meals are okay. Uh, oh, the helpers are full again. So slaves can also go back on literal slime. Seems good. And I think that's that. So I'll let the guys get rested, and then we'll do Kiwi's freeholder ceremony. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Professor Che. Okay, Teresa's labor has begun the final stages. Uh, <laughs> ignore that, that's just, you know... Just strangers. <laughs> I'm, sure that, I'm sure those bodies are uh, marked correctly. Very close to being born at midnight during an eclipse. <laughs> Just an hour off. Uh, but congratulations to baby. Uh, let's see. Let's see three. One, two, three. Ariel? One, two, three. Okay, Benjamin is not a nickname. That's... I don't know. Bendito. Alright, there you go. That's your nickname. Uh, your title is, is newborn. <laughs> Welcome to the colony. Uh, how are we doing on bionics? That's a lot of tongues. Why do we have so many bionic tongues? I'm going to check how many arms and legs we have. Still not enough, I don't think. Okay, guests have finally left us. Trace is moving Bandito somewhere with a safer temperature. And the crash is only 30 degrees. Where are you? You're just bringing it back. Okay. <laughs> Putting it somewhere safe. <laughs> Picked it up. Put it down. Him. Okay. Well. It's a worried mother. What can you do? Uh, right. I think the guys are in high enough spirits then. We might as well have... The ceremony for Kiwi, make it official. And the bathroom is actually coming along already. Two bits of tile, dresser, almost got a, a wardrobe as well. Very nice. We are still desperate for food, I think. The hoppers are getting drained pretty quickly. Um, there are new corpses to haul in though. Oh, we've had them all. Oof, yeah. Anything on the map we could hunt? Uh, an emu. Go for it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Well, that reminds me, we got these... I could give give Kiwi a throne. I don't think you need one as a... Uh... Wait, where are you guys going? Oh, you're holding the ceremony here. Okay. Uh, click to commence ceremony. Not a spectators, why not? I think everyone needs to witness this. Finally, after almost 80 episodes, we have a second noble. Everyone's very excited to see this. They said it couldn't be done. Not 
never quite as cool as Hex's ceremony being held in the, the big throne room, but you know. It's cozier, that's what it is. Some of you guys might even be in range. Oh, they're almost all in range of the Psychic Emanator. That's a nice touch. And a radio. A grandiose bestowing ceremony. Very nice. Received three honor as a sign of respect for gathering 35 spectators. Well, that's the best it could have been. Very good. Okay. Uh, so, Kiwi, you are now officially... Uh, let's see. Yeoman? Okay, rank two. I think. And you got stun. Okay. Can you go up again already? Is that... Yeah, Acolyte Ceremony. Okay, yeah, I do need a throne for Kiwi now. Alright, he's blowing through the ranks. So, go ahead, this can be... Yours, Kiwi. Uh, probably need a... Oh, that must be why Hexes was held in here, because it's, it's a throne room. Okay. Do we get any negative moods about people sharing a throne room? Like, is that... Gonna be a problem? No. Damn, look at Hex's mood, he's got... <laughs> Just his expectations and divorced by love. I, I mean, he's a psychopath, right? I think that's... <laughs> he doesn't care about certain negatives that other people do. But, uh, yeah. Alright, let's get another group of people here to do the other ceremony for Kyrgyz now. That's funny. <laughs> All right, guys, go and get a, uh, a slime meal quickly before you have to go and wa watch another ceremony. Good shit. Okay. Now, you would think this ceremony would be even better, <laughs> given the surroundings. But it's pretty tough to beat Grandiose, so, you know... See how it goes. Vuron! <laughs> Who do you think you are, Vuron? <laughs> you little fucker. <laughs> uh, honorable. There we go. Okay. Well, that's your official rank now. Uh, so you've got stun and word of joy. Very cool. So, what's the next milestone for you? Okay, so it needs 21 honor total to get to knight or dame. Okay. Okay, so he's got five. He just needs three more honor. Okay, that's not too bad then. Bedroom's coming along pretty nicely. Alright then. The next thing I wanted to check in on was limbs. I've put the stockpile for limbs up to four from two, so I'm trying to make four of everything now. <laughs> it seems like a more realistic demand in this colony. So once that's been made, I'll just stop slapping limbs into people, I think. But until then, we've got hauling to do. Hopefully food stabilizes. So I'll just keep things going. I might make this a long episode since we're getting kind of close to the end, right? Um, we need to get limbs into people. Hopefully we get Kiwi's rank maxed out. And could make a little gatehouse as well. That's all that's really left on the agenda. Limbs first though. I'm tired of having a colony full of people who are missing arms and legs and eyes all the time. I want to I reach the point where we have such an abundance of cybernetics and bionic limbs and stuff that... We can completely transform Kali into the Terminator. <laughs> that's... That's the dream. Uh, I hope that you will dream with me. Okay. There it is up. <laughs> he has a Glucoside Rush. Unfortunately, he is still missing a left leg. Do you know what? I think we have at least one leg. Let's give... Um, Let's give Erid a, a left leg quickly, so we can see if his move speed is significantly improved. Actually, it's the same number of glucosopumps that Hexer has, and... 
So yeah, X is running around at 6.8. Pretty good. Let's get them both up to 6.8 though. Okay. This is not looking good. <laughs> We're completely out of food in the freezer. Uh, I switched over this to rice as well, but uh, yeah. We are still waiting on the farms to kick in, I think. So not a great state of affairs. I think we might have to do an emergency caravan to try and buy some food from somewhere. How's the world map looking? Restocked since your last visit. Let's quickly head over to... And we don't have any outposts, it's just lumps of steel. Uh, let's quickly head to Binlinton then and see if we can just buy some food. Pretty urgently. Uh, <laughs> pretty urgently. Yeah. Alright. Sending out a big caravan. Sending some of the guys on it as well. Get them out of the colony where there's no food. <laughs> Maybe they can find something on the map. Uh, I'm probably going to have to force harvest some stuff as well, just to see if we get anything from it. Maybe. Well, that's nice. We made the commandment still. Um, quality good. Quality good. It's better than it was, right? That's, that's the main thing. I guess we'll get those plugs into the church later on. Uh, let's, I mean, let's see. If I just do a bit of harvest here. i just get some food here. See if we get lucky. Here's a little bit of edge. Okay. That's not too bad. It's better than literally nothing, so... Oh, hey, this room came out kind of nice. Uh, yeah, Kiwi. You and Kuz, bye. Hope you enjoy that. I've moved the death rest caskets over here. So I now, I guess Lobo... I mean, technically Lobo is a noble. We just haven't actually given her a... <laughs> the ceremony yet. But yeah, I guess this is now your bedroom, Lobo. Uh, that's fine, then. How's the caravan doing? Almost there. All right. Hopefully there's just tons of meat and all kinds of stuff here. Let's see. Honestly, not that much, but it's something. We got beef, we got meals. Uh, let's see what else they've got. All right. Gave them all our stuff. We out their food. Got some components as well. This is a bit of silver to play with. Uh, let's fast get back with schmaltz. In the, in the prison again. I mean, okay. And then... Can I immediately make another caravan now without unpacking that one? And just send the hexer up here. I don't think so. The caravan screen isn't... It says we have no... Oh god, please. Oh, interest... Ah. Huh. Why did this all drop out? I guess they were carrying it, and the rest of the stuff was on the dromedaries? I don't know. By the way, please pull it out of the prison before they eat it all. God damn it. Hello? <laughs> Why is none of this being hauled? What? <laughs> I guess there are a lot of hauling tests still on the map still. Actually, there aren't. Why is this taking so long to priority haul? Uh, is it because it's the prison and it counts as the prisoner's food now? They can't do anything? Let's see. Reserved for prisoners. Ah. Right. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Please hold the meat so that we can turn this back into a prison. Okay, what the <laughs> Hold the meat, you fuckers. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh my god. I mean, 
mean, whatever. I mean, we, you know, we got a lot of it, <laughs> I think. Brewer on a fire starting spree, that's great. Got some corn coming in now at last. Not corn, rice coming in now at last. Uh, mechanoid plastic, God damn it. Hex is just about to head out and go to the other town. Okay, let's see what this looks like then. I'll put the guys in alert. Hopefully Brero <laughs> respects that. Uh, you guys, alert. Uh, fix these guys. Okay, and I'll see what this... Yeah, let's cancel the caravan as well, Hoaxer. We'll see what this looks like. And I guess that'll end the episode there. <laughs> oh, Max, goddammit. Sunblocker! Oh, okay. I think someone said you can't get a sunblocker if you've got a darkness meme. Am I misremembering? Well, either way, we've, we've got one. <laughs> so I guess I'll leave this on the map tile as well. Oh no, I can't. We need food. Right, right, right. What am I thinking? Um, We need our real farms working. So we actually need to take this out pretty quickly. The nice part about it is because it's a sunblocker, we can do it any time we want, right? Because it's, it's always going to be in darkness. Uh, but yeah, I'll leave things there. <laughs> so, um, nice to have two nobles. I think we all almost have. We also have the bedroom for this, right? Yeah. So let's clear this out. Hopefully, we can fix the food situation as well. Might have been turning too much food into chem fuel, maybe, and then we've also got all the dogs. I don't know, I culled some of the sheep. I think the dogs are starving now, actually. Oh, they've got flu. Okay, that's not as bad then. Uh, yeah, I think it was just because we had a toxic fallout for a while, which just reset all the farms, didn't it? So I'm hoping we just start building things up again. Okay. Where are you going, bro? That's not a good place for you. I, I'll have to... Let's send Hexer over here to skip him if necessary. Anyway. I'll leave the long episode there. So, <laughs> thanks as always for watching. Hope you're enjoying it, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.